Hey guys, uh, back with a new video. Uh, review impressions on this game, uh, Super Mario 3D World. Um, uh, definitely late to the party uh, with this game, a 2013 release um, that I missed out on. I don't know why. I just I didn't. No, I didn't have a Wii U in 2013. I got the Wii U this year, and I, I don't know. It just took me a while to pick this up. I knew it wasn't going to go down in price, so I I, I grabbed it a couple weeks ago. Um, and I actually, have, I've at this point, I've almost 100 percented this game. Um, now, right off the bat, that 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 is crazy because I never 100% games. Uh, I just I just don't have the time for it. Uh, there's just so many games I want to play. I don't I don't generally spend so much time as to 100% you know, games these days. This game I loved so much. I had so much fun with this game that I felt like I I needed to 100% it and see all that this game had to offer. Uh, and I'm glad I did. Now, I'm at the final world, the crown world. Um, and <laughs> I beat the toad level there, but there's a mystery house where you have to get, uh, 30 stars in a row without dying, and it's timed, like, each star is, like, a 10 second time limit, uh, that's brutally difficult, I don't think I'm ever gonna beat it, to be honest, like, I, uh, to be honest, though, the mystery houses I kind of find to be annoying, like, those aren't, like, that to me is not a challenge, like, that's just irritating, uh, but the, the champion's road level, which is the hardest level in the game, and, might be honestly one of the hardest levels I've played in a Mario game. Uh, I can get, I don't know, I don't know how long it is. I've, I haven't looked up at, like how long it is on YouTube, but I, like that level is fucking brutal, man. Like I can't, I so far I've tried it like hundreds of times. I cannot get through it, uh, and they don't give you that super powered Tanuki suit or whatever. Which I'll talk about that a bit later. But I haven't hundred percent this game quite yet. I just need to beat the Champions Road in that mystery house. But besides that, I've got. All the green stars in the game, all the stamps, all the flagpoles. Unfortunately, to consider 100%, uh, you have to beat the, every level with each of the five characters, which is ridiculous. I'm not doing that. I don't. I don't care. That's like that's just stupid. But um, it's it's this game's like a ton of fun. Um, I easily my favorite Wii U game so far. I mean, I think I knew I was gonna enjoy this, uh, but. Like, Super Mario 3D Land, uh, for instance, on the 3DS, I love that game. I thought that was one of the best Mario games in years, and this is, like, better than that game in every way. Uh, in fact, uh, call me crazy, I think this is might be my favorite Mario platformer, uh, excluding Yoshi's Island. Like, I like this better than Super Mario World and Super Mario Brothers 3. Yeah, this game, I liked it that much. Um, so let's talk about it a bit. Um story I, I there's no point in talking about the story you know control mario bowser peach and toad and defeat bowser that's your story you know whatever uh i guess the it's annoying i like the first cutscene. you can't skip it it's very annoying but uh really there's nothing to talk about with the story this is this game is all gameplay um you know it's similar to mario 3d land which i thought was unique uh in the sense that it's it's a 3d platformer uh, you kind of got to take note of, of your like your depth perception, and some people have a struggle with that. I think I've heard some complaints with that that it's hard to see, wh hard to tell where you can where you have to land your jumps. Uh, there is maybe a couple times where I struggled with that, but I didn't think it was too bad. Uh, but there's some sections of this game where you're kind of on a 2D plane almost, like the game's still in, in 3D, but you're walking from left to right in, in a 2D on a 2D kind of plane. Like it's. This game is very unique. Like 3D Land, there's nothing quite like it as far as Mario games go. Uh, some of it's comparable to Galaxy, some of the 3D platforming, but at the same time, this game, like, the levels in the Galaxy games are very, like, they always felt really small to me, where the levels in this, even though they're short, they feel big, and there's a lot of air levels in this game that are wide open, which I loved. Uh, and I like the Galaxy games, I enjoy those games, but I, I'm not as in love with those games as a lot of people are, and I think a lot of that has to do with just... The, the scale seeming a lot um, a lot more closed in. Like, I don't know, there's something about the Galaxy games that it's hard to explain, but they don't quite uh, gel with me 100%. But these 3D land, 3D world games are fantastic. Like, I love how these games work. Um, of course, a new addition with this one is the multiplayer. Uh, I haven't tried four people yet. I would think it would be a bit chaotic uh, for my tastes. I did get to play it two-player uh, with my brother, and that was a ton of fun. A lot of laughs. Uh, some ridiculous shit can happen in this game. Uh, it's also quite a bit harder if you play this game uh, with another person. Um, we kind of beat the game, and then uh, I went back and did like all the 100% stuff, like get all the stars and find all the secrets um, on my own. Uh, in terms of the characters, 
Uh, it's it's kind of similar to Super Mario Brothers two, where like uh, Luigi's got the long high jumps. Mario's kind of your standard balanced character. Toad is extremely fast, uh, and Peach has got the hover ability. And then there's uh, Rosalina you unlock later that has like a kind of swiping attack where she can actually hit enemies. Uh, similar similar to the cat suit. Uh, the character I used mostly was Peach. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think some people might hate her. She's very slow, and that bugged me how slow she was. But the hover ability, I think, is very valuable. Uh, it, re it really helped in getting uh, on the top of the flagpole for every for most of the levels. Um, level designs are absolutely fantastic. Um, this game, like the Galaxy games, like 3D Land, is constantly introducing new ideas to you. Each level completely feels different from the next. Uh, so many cool gimmicks and obstacles uh, to find. Uh, really clever, creative level designs that are super fun. Um, not really challenging. In fact, other than that level in the Crown World, I this game didn't really challenge me all that much unless we were playing two-player. Um, I, I won't lie. It's, if you're looking for a, a huge challenge, you're not going to really find it here. Um, but, uh, for me, I, I still thought the game was, was super fun without that. And I'm, I'm generally finding with, with me that I like platformers these days, if it's too easy, if a platform is too easy, I get bored with it really fast, uh, as opposed to really challenging ones. But this is one of those rare exceptions for me, uh, this game, um, plenty of fun power-ups in this game. I love the power-ups. Like the cat suit is awesome. Climbing walls, doing that super crazy dash attack. Uh, it's very useful. Uh, you've got your like standard fireball power-ups, but other than that, there's like a cannon block that you can wear that shoots cannonballs. There's the coin block power-up. Um, what else? There's like the Tanuki suit uh, from from Super Mario Brothers three. That's always fun. Um, you, there, there's like this cherry that you can get where like you can make doubles of your your character, so you can have like up to like. At one point, I had like five uh, peaches running around, which was really fun. There's a giant mushroom that makes you huge. Uh, those levels are super fun. Like, I just, I mean, this game, I was just like constantly enjoying it. Um, there was maybe only a few levels that I found annoying. Um, the most annoying level for me in the game was, I forgot what world it was in, but it was the, the level where there's piranha plants that you have to keep jumping on or shooting fireballs at them to make them kind of go back into their pipes and then eventually get killed. Uh, and you have to light all these torches throughout the level to get these green stars. And that pissed me off. Like, that was a really annoying level. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I was just... I just loved how new ideas were constantly being introduced. Uh, and that, you know, each level was fun. Um, uh, you, you can play it with, like, all kinds of different controllers. Uh, there's a lot of variety to it as well. Because um, besides the normal platforming levels, you've got... There's even some racing levels thrown in there, too. But... Uh, you've got the Toad levels, which uh, they're making uh, Captain Toad's Toad uh, Treasure Tracker, I think it's called, based on these levels, uh, where you control Toad in this these like 3D environments where you got to use the camera to tilt the environment to, to get you better viewpoints. Uh, and you got to get these stars, and you can't attack. You have to just judge enemies and stuff like that. Uh, they're really creative, uh, pretty fun. That said, even though I enjoyed them, I don't think I want a whole game made out of them, even though I'm sure the ones in Treasure Tracker are going to be a lot more involved. I, I gotta say, I'm probably gonna cancel the pre-order I have on that game. Uh, I mean, maybe maybe as it gets closer to release, uh, it will look a bit more si exciting to me, but uh, it's the kind of thing where I, I, I found them enjoyable, but I don't know. It, 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 like an entire game made out of them? Uh, probably not so much. Uh, like I said before, there were the Mystery House levels where you gotta collect a bunch of stars in, in, in like 10 second time limits. Those are fine as long as there's like a, a small amount of stars you can get. Uh, but that final mystery house is fucking ridiculous. Like, I'll probably never want to never do that. Uh, in fact, I'm like, after be I beat Champion Road, I'm going to keep trying that. After I do that, I'm probably done with this game. Um, I like the Miiverse and in, in, uh, stuff in this game, too. You can see, like, little Mii's on the world map, which I haven't even talked about that either. Um, and, the, you know, they, they have, like, messages, and you can collect stamps in the levels to make your own messages. And it's... It really adds like this community aspect to the game that I really love. Beat after beating certain levels, you can see people's messages like, "Oh, I beat this level in this time limit, and I did this." And then, and then you've got ghosts. Every time you beat a level of you like your friends, your friends Mies will be running around. You got to beat them to beat their times. Uh, there's points in multiplayer, and you can like get a crown, and you're trying to like beat each other for points, which is really fun. Um, the world map. I fucking love the world map in this game, where you can actually explore it. 
uh, you unlock different uh, levels, and they're actually named in this game. They're not just, I mean, they are like 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, but they actually have names, which I love. I love how they brought that back. Uh, but the world map you can explore, you can get lives on the world map and coins. There's pipes everywhere. There's like little mini boss battles, uh, like from Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, like, there's just so much variety to this game that it just, it, I was never bored with it. Like, it, it's just constantly fun. Um, I mean, if I'm going to think about complaints, I mean, like, like I said before, some of the depth perception stuff can be a bit hairy, uh, but it wasn't too bad for me. I think, honestly, probably my biggest complaint with this game is, is probably the challenge level. I think it could have been a bit harder overall. Uh, and there's a Tanuki suit they give you. If you keep dying on a level over and over again, uh, they give you this Tanuki suit that makes you invincible. Uh, and you don't have to take it, but it's just right there in the level. And I got to say, a lot of the times it was a bit too tempting to take that on some of the harder levels. Um, like, I mean, the later levels are, do get tough. I mean, you've got like your main game, which is like eight worlds, I think. And after that, you get like a bunch of bonus worlds. Like there's a lot of content to this game. Like it's, it's not a short game by any means. And some of those later levels are pretty tough. Oh, well, decently tough at least. Uh, but the Tanuki suit, I wish it was like an option that you could just tick in the, like, go into the menu and say like, oh, I want these to appear or not, because I gotta say, having them, it's very hard not to take them, and it, they're really cheap. I, I almost kind of wish they weren't in the game, that, that Tanuki suit, because it's just, it's, it, like, that just makes it things way too easy. Like, I, I don't know if that was really a necessary thing. But again, like, this is a minor complaint. The complaints I have with this game are so minor at the end of the day. Um... But yeah, I mean, if you have a Wii U, I have to highly recommend this game. Like, I, I fucking loved it. Um, it won't be for everyone. Anyone looking for a challenge probably won't like it. Anyone that doesn't like Mario games won't like it. But, I mean, if you have if you liked Mario uh, over the years, uh, I think this is a, an excellent game. Um, you know, I, I think Mario Galaxy 3 is probably going to be the next Mario game on the Wii U, but... Uh, even though I like the Galaxy games, I don't think it's going to compare to this. Uh, I just, I love this style, this 3D world, 3D land style just so much. Um, graphically, <laughs> I gotta say, this game really impressed me graphically. I mean, it's not the, like, a powerhouse technical achievement or anything, but I, I, like, there's just so much color to this game. Like, 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 even this, this box art, right? And if you look at the back, too, it's got all, the, all these pictures of the bubbles. Like, there's just so much color and charm and personality to this game that I love like just the art style in general I, I think is fantastic uh it's easily the best looking Wii U game I think uh and I think this appeals to me more uh, graphically than anything I've seen on like you know on my on my PC or, or whatever or and on, and on these next gen consoles like I'll always prefer this kind of this kind of look to a game as opposed to like this really heavily detailed um you know boring ground and big gray and environments from like gears of war games and shit like that um but yeah it's a it's a great looking game i i love the graphics um sound wise the soundtrack is phenomenal um i really wasn't expecting to love the soundtrack as much as i did um there's some songs from other mario games but uh, all the new songs i think are fantastic uh a lot of them are like actually all of them are, are orchestral but they're great usually i'm not i'm not really into the orchestral soundtracks but i love the the soundtrack in this game uh, the song that plays during the Boo Mansion levels is awesome. I love that song. Um, they take a snow song. I think it's called Winter Wonderland from 3D Land that I loved in that game, and it's even better here. Uh, all the new songs are great. There's even there's there's a lot of them that have a lot of cool melodies uh, to them. A lot of catchy songs. They like uh, some of the songs actually stuck with me, uh, and I can still remember them right now. Which that I can't say that about too many video games these days. I mean, a lot of games I've talked about this before. Like soundtracks to me are so like unmemorable these days. Uh, that's not the case with this game. I, I thought the soundtrack was amazing. Uh, but yeah, a lot of great things to say about this game. Um, yeah, uh, that's about it. Uh, fantastic game. Had a blast with it. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.